Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. Shortest straw, that's what we got with President Obama. Boy, did we pull the shortest straw with him. So there's no war uh, in Syria. Since the doofus failed so miserably, the whole world sees him for what he is. Conveniently, out of nowhere, there pops a deranged gunman on drugs, no doubt, who executes Christians. And right away, doofus, who was uh, invisible on the Russian incursion into Syria, suddenly comes out and goes off on a tirade against guns. He could just as soon go off on a tirade against uh, uh, meds, psych meds, or on single-parent homes. I mean, the kid grew up without a father. You could say that did it. Of course, that isn't what did it. You understand it? Now, don't, don't attack me now and, and write to the Single Parent Father Association. Single Parent Association. It's crazy. So let's start at the top. The president is the problem, not the solution, with regard to almost everything in the world. Where does he stick his nose into a gun debate when even the most radical Supreme Court justice in history, well, the second most, Kagan or Kogan, Colgate, whatever her name was, Lucy Colgert, Colgert, when she said that the Second Amendment is established law. Remember when she was going through hearings, the commie that they found somewhere in Brooklyn? Kogan, Kagan, I don't remember her, Kagan, Kagan. And they grilled her on the Second Amendment. She said, the liberal, the Second Amendment is established law. So what is Obama hammering the Second Amendment for? Because he's a failure on every other amendment. He's uh, squashed the First Amendment, the Third Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, the Sixth Amendment. So now he's got one left, the Second Amendment. If he could, he'd eliminate the entire Bill of Rights. You know, I was thinking about it. You know, you can get crazy about this and make jokes about it. What, what can you joke about? What can you joke about this idiot? I looked him up. We did a little research because it said he came to Oregon from L.A. So I said, really, what was this thing in L.A.? Here we go. Chris Mercer formerly lived in L.A. and attended a school for teens with emotional disabilities. Uh-huh. Records show Harper Mercer lived in a ground floor apartment on Arlington Avenue in Torrance with his mother, Laurel Harper, from 2011 to 2013. The owner of the building said he did not know them and neighbors did not recall them. That's all. Lists of Daily Breeze graduates from 09 showed Harper Mercer graduated from the Switzer Learning Center in Torrance. Switzer teaches students with learning disabilities and emotional issues. Re Records show they moved to Winchester, Oregon in 2013. All right, what, what can you make of that? Nothing. Nothing. Profile describes not religious but spiritual beliefs. And linked to a witch group. Yeah, a witch, a witch and Wiccan group. Witches are bad. Many of you listen to the show, witches, I know that, but that's a bad scene. You have no morals whatsoever. If you have no guideposts, you can do a thing like this. You understand what I'm saying to you? This is why when religion dies, a nation dies with it. Okay, what else do you want me to say to you? You know the hero who stopped him? An ex-army veteran, 10 years in the army? Ran at him with bare hands and stopped this piece of human trash? Yeah, he got shot, what, five? How many times? Four or five times and he didn't die? Well, he's got a heck of a life against him, ahead of him. Surgeries, may not walk again. So we, we researched the fact that his family set up a GoFundMe page. His name is Chris Mintz. He's the good guy. We're not talking about the Antichrist shooter who was a mixed-race, teetotaling Nazi. That's right. The shooter was a mixed-race, teetotaling Nazi. I'm sorry if I offend uh, teetotalers, Nazis, but the fact of the matter is he was just like Hitler. He didn't use alcohol. He also looked like he was sexually frustrated, and I'm not going to joke about it. This is the second one in a row now of another... Loser on a college campus who's sexually frustrated, who starts shooting the, shooting a school up. Which leads me to think, and not so comically, that maybe Obamacare ought to have a checkbox for uh, government-funded sex workers. That for a dollar, you know, uh, like a, a dollar you get one sent by Obama, in order if you feel like killing anyone, check this box and call 1-800-SEX-WORKER. 
and the government will send someone to take off your tension? I could see that happening under Obama. The hero was shot five times, and he has a GoFundMe page. Oh, it's here. Donate to Oregon shooting hero Chris Mintz. Please go to michaelsavage.com, and you'll see his Donate Now page. Maybe I can get you to go to my page by going to, to go to his page. But if you go to michaelsavage.com, I don't make any money off it. I'm not selling anything. You don't have to buy a book or a suitcase or a rug, a toupee, a mustache, a pipe, nothing. You don't have to buy a bong or a, a floor mat or a Bill O'Reilly loofah, nothing. Go to michaelsavage.com. The second box has a link to the hero, Chris Mintz, shooting survivor who attacked the animal with his bare hands. So far, they've raised $123,000. This guy's going to need millions of dollars. So instead of buying a beer this weekend, you know, send them 10 bucks. 855-400-7282 is the phone number. Media war against Russia's airstrikes on ISIS aimed at ousting Russia from many, says the Russian news agency TASS. I put it on my site as well. You know why I had to go to TASS news agency? It's gone from the media! For two days, your doofus president had nothing to say about the greatest disaster in his life. His complete and total embarrassment. And then conveniently a shooting occurs in Oregon. Convenient for him, by the way. And he comes out on a tear against the Second Amendment. And, and the morons in the media drop the war. Neil Cavuto doesn't even know there's a war going on. No, they forgot already. All of the suits on Fox News are not covering the war anymore. The heels are back, clicking about the shooting. They brushed out the hair, put on the liner, glossed up the lips, and the war is over. Mur Murdoch said the war is over. It's, it's bad for the Democrats, a war. It's bad for the Democrats. It's bad for Hillary to, to show that the war is going on, and the moron in the White House not only started the war, but also looks like an idiot on the world stage. So now all we hear about is guns, guns, guns control. And, of course, you're going to call about it. I get it. I'm just going off on my own tirade. According to Russia today, the Russian Air Force destroyed an ISIS command center and a training camp. You don't believe that, of course, because uh, America's Izvestia says the Russians are only attacking uh, positions of the, of the good guys who are out to get rid of the bad guys. So you make it very simple for the American people. They can follow you. Assad bad. Those with tight dungarees and iPhones are good. Russia bad. America good. Obama a genius. Now, I hear that um, Kerry's going to get another Nobel Prize, first Nobel Prize, because he gave uh, Iran a nuclear weapon. <laughs> that works. How does that work, that you get a Nobel Prize for giving a terrorist state a nuclear weapon? Obama says Washington is responsible for mass shootings. A visibly shaken president? He didn't look shaken. He looked psychotic to me. He wasn't shaken. He was enraged. It was false enraged. The fraud came out. The invisible man, the thin man came out, goes after guns, goes after Republicans, instead of going after meds, instead of going after the deranged policies of his own, which has caused millions of people to be displaced in the Middle East. God knows how many were killed because of this lunatic's policies. Policies, Amazing, huh? If I go on Washington Times one more time and get caught up with a pop-up, I'm going to break my computer. Can somebody tell the Washington Times they have a good site, but to get rid of those pop-ups? Uh, everyone, no one can take this anymore. There are sites I cannot go on. The minute you get caught in the pop-ups, you're finished. You go to the LA Times, you have to subscribe. So I don't go to them. No, I will not subscribe. I can't take pop-ups. I don't have the time to knock out an ad. Gunman had white supremacy and anti-religion leanings, sources say. That's as far as the um, liberal area Times will say. Gunmen had white supremacy and anti-religion leanings? No, it was anti-Christian leanings, morons. Obsessed with guns, here we go, and wore body armor and had extra ammo. Oh, that, you know what that is to a liberal? When you say body armor and extra ammunition, you know what that does to a liberal on the Upper East Side of New York? If you were to stop a liberal on the streets of New York and just say, sir, what do you feel about body armor and extra ammunition? Can you imagine <laughs> what they must go through? Just asking the question, get you shot in New York. The tax squad will take you down. Anti-government white supremacy leanings. Unclear whether he carried the ammo during the shooting. The attack left 10 dead. I, why did I have to say including Mercer? 
I have my feeling about him is he's less interesting to me than the dog crap I picked up this morning. That's what I think he is. He should have been flushed a long time ago. Mercer was obsessed with guns. Here we go, guns again. Let me see how many times, how many times the liberal area uh, uh, times can say guns. Mercer was obsessed with guns, left behind an angry, hate-filled note. It was not authorized to discuss the investigation. The gunman who was killed in a, again, the gun, they worked in the gun in the fourth paragraph. The gunman who was killed in a gunfight, five times now, gunman, gunfight, instead of psycho who was killed in a psycho fight, also like to discuss military history. Well, there it goes. They should, they should ban military history magazine. And I think all military books should be turned over to the government and burned. Hanlon said to interview neighbors to learn more details about Mercer. Uh, probably he was a loner. And he didn't talk to his neighbors. That's all. Didn't talk to his neighbors, a loner. None of the victims of age hear the word gun again. Sixth paragraph, gunshot wounds to the abdomen and head. For a man and woman was discerned that one had a gunshot wound to the foot. Latest attacks and education, but gun control. Every paragraph now in the, in the liberal area times is gun. Gun control, guns, gun, gun sale. Sixth paragraph, person, person, gun sales. Letter to Dice Mary Biden after shooting at Newton County. The White House failed to push for gun control. I just remember thinking about how they can get our government to change the laws on guns. Obama said there is a gun for roughly every man, woman, and child in the U.S. How many guns surround him? How many guns protect a thin man? I hope and I pray that I don't have to come out again during my tenure as president. Sounds like a college teacher with tenure. Can we get rid of tenure on campuses and in the presidency? But based on my experience as president, I can't guarantee that because of guns, and that's terrible to say. That's the L.A. Times, which I call the liberal area Times. I'm not bashing L.A. I like L.A. I'm going to be down there a lot of the time soon. Vatican disputes Davis account. A meeting says Pope also met with gay ex-student. Again, the gays. Everything is gay. Every story. You have to, everything about the Pope. Another story about a gay now. If I read about the Pope and Christian, I have to read about a gay met him. Vatican disputes Davis accounts. He meets with the woman who was persecuted by the gay community. If they could have, they would have burned her alive. So the Vatican did one good thing on the trip. They had Schmendrick meet with her. Now they said that they didn't meet with her. They almost met with her. He thought he saw her. They passed in the hallway. He thought that she was there. He had an image of her. It was, it was by Skype. But the pontiff doesn't even use Skype. He doesn't quite know how to use it. But there was an image of Davis that was the confusion, and we in the Vatican know for sure he never would have met with Davis. He only met with gay people because he's such a happy man. He only wanted to see gay people who were happy, and therefore he didn't want to meet a miserable woman who was thrown in jail for, for sticking up to our beliefs in Christianity. Why did? Here's another story. Why are we giving health care for illegal aliens? Well, already in California, which is bankrupt, despite what Jerry Brown says, the state is bust. Will nation follow California on health care for immigrants here illegally? Why don't you just expand it to Mexico? Why don't you have sign-up clinics in Mexico and, and get everyone in Mexico to have free health care? That'll make all of the gangsters in the health industry very rich. Obama dumped Arnie Duncan. This is an interesting story. He was the worst education secretary in my lifetime. Why did they get rid of this creep? I don't know. Arnie Duncan, who on Friday was reported to be stepping down as Secretary of Education in December, blah, blah, blah. Why did they get rid of him? Does anyone know where they dumped this guy? States had to agree to a teacher evaluation system based on measures such as student standardized test scores. Oh, in other words, Arnie Duncan, as bad as he was, wanted, wanted the kids to pass at, least a pass, pass at least a test. So that's why Obama got rid of him. Oh. And Duncan wanted more charter schools, and Obama can't have that because the, the charter schools are independently managed and exempt from some of the rules that govern traditional state schools. Duncan also promoted aggressive school turnarounds, which meant in many places replacing the entire staff at a school or closing a school with its union-represented workforce and replacing it with a charter school. So in other words, Arnie Duncan was not as bad as you would le le were led to believe, and Obama wanted to get rid of him because the unions wanted him out. And the, those who don't want the kids to know how to e read, write, or add wanted him out. How do you like that? So I figured it out for you, but you're not interested in that. What a country we're living in.